What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel today for a FM22 tactical recreation. Today we are looking at current at the time of recording PSG manager Maurizio Pochettino and we will be taking a look at his tactic, his patented style that has worked well for him at Southampton, Tottenham, PSG and maybe we'll look at Manchester United as well as being heavily linked with that job at the time of recording. This is all thanks to GYRFM, my tactical genius, my tactical guru. His links will be down in the description. Please go and check out his Twitter, Twitch and his Discord. Again, as I said, this video wouldn't be possible without the fantastic Gareth. So please do head over and show him some love. We've taken all of the clubs that Pochettino has worked at so far. Well, we've discounted Espanol. So basically we've started Started with Southampton we've done Southampton we've done uh, Spurs we've done uh, PSG and we also are doing Manchester United so that we can show you that this tactic works at varying different levels obviously he started his career in England with Southampton which is where we are going to start this video right now so obviously guys we are at Southampton and the end of the season is here and as you can see sixth in the Premier League Europa League football has been secured for Southampton having got 18 victories 10 draws and 10 losses in the Premier League and 64 points uh, finishing way above Spurs in this particular instance um, as you can see though absolutely smashing it according to the season preview 250 to 1 predicted to finish 15th um and that is far and away better uh they've done far and away better than that as you can see che adams 29 goals not the top goal scorer in the premier league cristiano ronaldo's got that with 33 but james ward price the corner and set piece mad magician himself uh getting 22 assists in the season as you can see from this the tactic working very well some of the losses in there as I said, the sort of culprits that you would expect, uh, Manchester United away, Man City away, Chelsea away, United at home, Liverpool away, Tottenham away, Arsenal away. Sort of the, the sort of traditional big six teams as you kind of would expect, but securing Europa League football for Southampton is absolutely massive. Obviously, this is where Poch started in England. Um, we will go through a couple of the tests and show you guys how they got on before actually breaking this tactic down. But 18 victories in the Premier League. If we expand this so you can see the goal difference and stuff as well, guys. Uh, 82 goals scored, 62 goals conceded. Obviously, some of those are against some of the bigger teams. So conceding seven over two games against United and Arsenal, five against Liverpool, etc. It's not too, too bad. But considering where they are predicted to finish, Europa League football for Southampton is absolutely massive. After doing very, very well at Southampton, Poch got the opportunity at Spurs. Let's see how this tactic does with a notoriously bad team at testing in actual fact Tottenham so then guys we've tested the tactic with Spurs and as you can see here picking up two trophies which I think Spurs fans would absolutely die for Europa Conference League winning that one in the final against West Ham wow London Derby getting the getting the uh, Europa Conference League final going there Giovanni Lo Celso with a double Mikel Antonio with a goal for West Ham obviously you can see a sneak peek at the 4-2-3-1 the Pochettino style uh, created here by uh, GYRFM looks very very nice and as you can see very very effective 2.28 uh, expected goals in this particular one so they did very very well there they also won the Carabao Cup beating Fulham in the final so another London derby to get that one done knocked out in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup by Manchester United and finishing in second in the Premier League 80 points is no mean feat uh, eight defeats in there uh, five draws and 25 victories again guys this is all done by simulating this is not done by Gareth playing this playing the games he just plugs in the tactic and goes on holiday for the entire season comes back at the end of the year and sees how, how it's got on 31 goals for Harry Kane in the Premier League. I can only assume he is top goal scorer. He is. Uh, Hyun Min Son, second in the assists as well. A couple of yellow cards here. Uh, Rom uh, Romero and Hoiberg, not too not too shabby. But I think I think ultimately, Spurs fans, I think you'd be pretty happy with that. Two trophies, finishing second inside the Premier League. I think it worked pretty well. And Spurs fans, let me know down in the comments. Would you take Poch back? I know you've got Conte now, but do you think sacking Poch was the right the right idea? He now finds himself as PSG manager, but being heavily linked with that Manchester United job. And I know a lot of people are saying testing tactics with PSG is is not not difficult this year and i beg to differ because you expect because of the players that they have everything to be perfect so hopefully the simulation with PSG is perfect 
So then I'm going to start off with PSG, showing you the league table first and foremost. 38 games in the uh, in the French league. Uh, 37 victories, one draw. That one draw was against Olympic Marseille away from home. 169 goals scored, 19 goals conceded, a goal difference of 115 and 112 points with this PSG team. Now, as I said, guys, this is expected of a team of this caliber, but actually doing this and delivering this is very very difficult for someone who tests a lot of tactics this is very very difficult to do um so absolutely phenomenal result there if we flick over to this tab however the competitions tab they did pretty well lost the trophy to champion which comes in relatively earlier on in the season losing to leo obviously uh league winners the season prior they won the coupe de france winning that one against strasbourg 3-1 in extra time and then by the end of the season, all things were firing on all cylinders, beating Liverpool in the final of the Champions League 4-2. Uh, Salah and Jota on the score sheet for Liverpool, two for Mbappe, Wijnaldum, and Sergio Ramos getting the goals for this Pochettino recreation with PSG. Um, absolutely dominant. I'm just going to go on the home screen just because the skin that I'm using, which is the Vince skin, by the way, is linked down in the description. Um, and you can see Kylian Mbappe, top goal scorer for the club with 47 goals, Neymar 30 assists. So if I just go on the squad screen, actually, 47 goals for Mbappe, 37 for Messi, 20 for Icardi, 20 for Sergio Ramos, um, <laughs> 17 for Rafinha, uh, Angel Di Maria, 16, Neymar only down with 13 goals, but 30 assists. Like, it's absolutely crazy, guys. That front three combined for a ludicrous amount of goals, as you would expect. Now, as I said, at the time of recording, Poch is currently supposedly in talks about being released by PSG to become Manchester United manager at the end of the season. Manchester United have just appointed Ralph Rangnick uh, to be their interim head coach until the end of the season, where they will look to appoint a brand new manager. Would this work at Manchester United? Would it work at Old Trafford? Let's find out. So it's safe to say, looking at this simulation, it would work at Manchester United. Currently, uh, they won the Premier League, 101 points. Centurions for Manchester United, also picking up the Champions League, beating Barcelona on penalties in that final. Runners up in the Emirates FA Cup and winners of the Carabao Cup. So they kind of did it in all competitions, losing that Emirates FA Cup final to Liverpool 3 1. So it's no mean feat. We all know how good Liverpool can be in this, this Premier, uh, in this iteration of Football Manager winning the Champions League on penalties very very interesting as well Cristiano Ronaldo getting the job done Aguero and Depay on the other end for Barcelona Lingard misses a penalty for uh, Manchester United and Dembele and Serginio Dest missing the penalties for Barca maybe Barca, Barca should look at my rebuild if they want to see how to win the Champions League uh, they also won the Carabao Cup as well beating Fulham 2-0 uh, rather, uh, rather comprehensively I can't expand that one unfortunately but it looks like it's either going to be Ronaldo or Bruno Fernandes on the score sheet and then as I said over 100 points in the Premier League if I expand that one fully 32 uh, 33 victories 2 draws uh, Everton and Liverpool and then 3 draws, uh, three losses as well Aston Villa Liverpool and Chelsea all away from home 122 goals scored just 24 goals Goals conceded that 98 goal difference to couple along with that 101 points. So let's break this tactic down. This is how we're looking right now. I'm going to quick pick the best 11 so that you can see what sort of players fit in this uh, situation. So you can kind of see how Manchester United could and potentially would line up with this tactic if Pochettino was appointed as Manchester United manager. What we're going to do, guys, is we are going to run through this in its entirety so you can see the entire lineup and how things look i will say there is a download link if you are on pc to fm scout where you can download this tactic and just plug it straight in get it all done and dusted nice quick and easy if you are playing on xbox or switch or any other uh platform that's not pc i'm going to go through and break everything down so that you guys can get everything exactly as intended from gareth so starting things off guys we have a sweeper keeper on defend um these what i will say you can test and change the roles here as you can see here and then there's additional instructions the additional instructions guys are the ones with the white cogs and the red circles um, so make sure you add those if you are recreating this tactic for yourself uh, just do that by clicking on the edit button and then selecting the ones that you want to have here 
Um, as I said, guys, if you need to pause the video at any stage, please do so, uh, so that you can get this tactic exactly right. In the right back spot, we have Aaron Wambasaka as a wing back on attack with the additional instruction of shoot less often. Then we have a ball playing defender alongside a central defender. So the central defender on defend, no additional instructions on them. And then the ball playing defender, again, with no additional instructions. On the left hand side of the defense, we have Luke Shaw, the fullback on attack on the left hand side with the additional instruction of shoot less often he already comes with cross more often and get further forward now we have the midfield two Pogba and McTominay let's look at McTominay first the box-to-box -box midfielder on support with dribble less as the additional instruction he already comes with roam from position he also has Paul Pogba alongside him who has the additional instructions of dribble less and tackle harder um for Paul Pogba and the def uh, defense, uh, deep line playmaker. On the right hand side, Jaden Sancho or the inverted winger on attack with the additional instruction of take more risks. He already comes with dribble more, cut inside with the ball and get further forward. On the left hand side, Marcus Rashford or the inverted winger on support with the additional instruction of take more risks. Now the Portuguese dynamic duo. Bruno Fernandes at the advanced playmaker on attack with more direct passes, get further forward and move into channels. Additional instructions added to him. Backing up the main man, Cristiano up top, who is just the advanced forward on attack. Now, this tactical style has been saved by Gareth, but it is predominantly a Gagan press base with a positive mentality in possession this is how you're going to be dealing with the ball uh, you'll be attacking uh, width will be set as wide passing into space focusing play through the, through the middle and playing out of defense standard passing directness higher tempo uh, low crosses into the final third running at defense and being more expressive once you uh, when you are in transition as you can see this is where the gagan sort of press uh, the gagan press kind of comes in counter pressing when possession has been lost and countering when possession has been in one and we will be taking short kicks as the goalkeeper distribution type out of possession it will be a much higher line of engagement a higher defensive line a standard defensive width we will be triggering the press much more often present preventing short goalkeeper distribution and getting stuck in as the tackling style so then guys that is the Pochettino recreation let me know what you think of it down in the comments below as I said I will leave links to the amazing GYRFM down in the description please do go and show him some love and let me know whilst you're in the comments as well actually if you are a United fan would you want Poch as your manager I think he'd be a very good option for me it would either be between Poch or Ten Hag let me know whilst you're down there and if you have enjoyed this video guys please do drop a like on it down below subscribe to the channel if you are new around here and until next time guys take care and I'll see you on another one very very soon